Peace, Cosmic Family. Welcome to the final lecture on the secrets of numbers and the spells that can be cast with them. I'm Dab, your host, and this has been a three-part lecture on the basic number structure from Supreme Mathematics, which is a basic science of the hidden meaning or hidden meanings behind numbers, the simplistic version. And so far I've gone from zero to six, kind of giving you a basic structure from zero, what that means, all the way to six and what that means. And I've kind of been struggling internally on not trying to be like the count from Sesame Street and go, six, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now this is what six means, but that's an internal struggle. Well, don't, don't, it's internal struggle for me. Don't worry about it. I can get over the count. <laughs> but for me, we left off at six in the last lesson. How it casts a spell in the triple cipher um, that's been put in the Bible for a number called 666, which we translated to born equality. I also kind of wanted to digress and go back to that chapter and say 666 is not also just the mark of the beast in the Bible. It's the mark of the beast actually in us as human beings because we are made of a carbon atom. You burn us and we return back to the dust and it's mostly carbon. And that's carbon being a six proton, six neutron, six electron atom. It's got the 666 built right into it. So who, writing of the Bible was definitely an encoding that Definitely shouldn't be, I would call it, uh, you know, um, mystified and put through um, the ringer for a bad spell, especially when it came to the number 666. It really is just as simple as somebody wanted to describe the, the way humans are without their godly nature. And they came up with that and explained it. That would be the number of the person that would not or I would call it the people that would not represent the next number in the cycle. What's the next number in the cycle? It's carbon seven, baby. And carbon seven, I'm not trying to get science fiction on you, but it's an isotope of carbon, six. Seven is the elevation of an equality into the God state of being. I won't be talking too much about carbon seven though. But how many times have you ever said to yourself, seven is the most luckiest number you know? Well, if you have said that to yourself, you weren't far off from the truth because seven is divine nature and it permeates throughout all culture that has gained a, a aspect of equality. Seven is also a state of mind for that culture and the people living in that culture which allows them to do many of the things that have been forgotten in this sixth realm to the beyond realm of seven, which is beyond our physical sight. We could spend a lot of time on the number seven because she and he really are that important in this lecture series. However, just like we're doing, we're, by, we're climbing this tower. So once you're a godlike species out of six, and you have that balance of your constitution, you keep pushing yourselves to be more magical and have more, more powerful abilities. Very, I would call it something grandiose, something grander than just taking a tree, cutting it down and making a house. But that is what the number eight is for. The number eight is the ability to take something and use alchemy on it and make it something new. We called it building or destroy. So if you destroy a tree, what can you turn a tree into? Infinite possibilities. Infinite possibilities through the number eight. So the number eight is probably the most beautiful number in the Fibonacci sequence because Fibonacci goes to infinity. And when you're taking a view, if you Google Fibonacci's, you'll see that this just keeps go the Fibonacci animations can keep going and going. And they become this beautiful representation of the dualistic number four and how it marries two fours to create that big eight inside of our temples. The temple of a human body though, takes nine months in, gest in gestation just to be completed when it's being built in a womb, the opposite of a tomb, atoms. Anyway, so your number nine, which comes after eight, 
which allows you to build and destroy in an alchemic way. And you take two fours, which could be sperm and an egg cell, put them together, and you got a nine that pops out. Nine months later, you're going to birth or something will be born. Okay? That reminds me, now that we've gone through all the structures of the numbers, nine is the last number in this series, which means something is born or brought to completion. Let's kind of review really quick. If you go back to my older lecture called Every Planet Wears a Crown, I gave you a secret knowledge that is pretty much known, but not too many people talk about it as a common knowledge. That there was a planet between Mars and Earth. So that would make the recounting of the planets have Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, the planet that was destroyed, Jupiter, Saturn. Saturn is the seventh planet in the structure of our solar system. Not too many people really calculate that data. But I'm bringing up seven, the God number, on purpose to remind anybody who will be following me in these next set of lectures why Saturn is so important. People will still tell you, I mean, we can tell you right now, it is the sixth planet in our solar system because we've lost one of our planets. So the six sides of the hexagon, right, okay, that are on top of the seventh planet represent its equality e equality nature. It has an, a nature of equality, but it is the god planet in position seven. Go research this. Saturn is the seventh planet with a hexagon, okay? Six-sided. I've given you all of this lecture series so that we can go into a deeper dive into the next topic, which is the Zodiac system. I'm hoping you'll stay with me because the Zodiac system is really based on numbers. The entities that we imagined in the sky with the stars represent something of an aspect of those numbers. So we'll be decoding Zodiac and what that means, um, kind of capping off this uh, smack dab series, smack dab in your face with so much practical magical knowledge that you'll be able to follow me in all of my lectures here on out. As long as you take these, you know, 101 classes, these 101 lectures, you'll be able to follow me when I start to open up a, wide, a wider world of imagination that has barely been tapped into in the current paradigm that we live in. There are a couple celebrities out there who I won't give any shout outs to, but you know what you know that you watched and you've learned. Now I'm ready to water you so that you can grow too because we're all on this cosmic journey together. That's why we're a cosmic family. No one is greater than anybody, okay? And the purpose of the number system is to bring a very special grounding inside of each and every one of us that we can all speak a very similar language as we move forward into the future so with that said if you like the sound of my voice please hit the like button even if you didn't like the information and as well don't forget to subs subscribe 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 to my channel because I appreciate your time and you taking the time to just listen to me give you some of this hidden knowledge. And on that note, don't forget to dab.